welcome to Academic Transfer in Focus. My name is Galen Scott. I'm the AVP for Academic Programs here at ACC. Today's topic is physics. I don't know about you, but I never took a physics class. I didn't take one in high school. I didn't take one in college. I vaguely recall buying a brief history of time and making it through three pages, but that's about as far as I got. So in preparation for today's topic, I did what our students do. I went to Wikipedia, and here's what I learned. Physics studies matter and its motion and behavior through space and time. It studies energy and force. It is one of the most fundamental scientific disciplines, and its main goal is to understand how the universe behaves. I don't know if we're going to get all of that into this brief episode, but you at least know as much as I do now about physics. Our guest today is Paul Williams. He is a physics professor here at ACC, and we're going to talk about some of the outreach work that the physics department does. But we're going to start first by saying welcome, Paul. Oh, I'm glad you. you're here. Um, and let's let people get to know you a bit. Tell us a bit about your background. Okay. Well, I started teaching at ACC in 1987 as an adjunct in math. I think a lot of people started as an adjunct in math. Mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and I did that for about four and a half years. It took about a year and a half to, off to do a finish up my dissertation, do a postdoc, and then I was hired as a full-time faculty member in math in, I think, 93. Um, about 96, I, would, I became a campus-based department head in physics, or actually physical sciences, and then I've been here. Then around 2002, I had a midlife crisis, took a couple years off, and then came back in, a in ADC as a full-time physics faculty in uh, four, 2004, I think, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, the physics department has a fascinating outreach program. It's called, I'm going to get it wrong, I want to say ACC Chaos, but you say y'all call it AC Chaos. AC, yeah. Okay. So that, that's, a, that's sort of a physics joke because oh, okay. there, there's a, t a physics area of research called Chaos. Chaos. And, and yeah. one application is the AC circuit. So oh, it, so, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So, tell us about AC Chaos. So AC Chaos is an outreach program of the physics department, and the and a way to understand it, if you've ever been to like a hands-on science museum, we're a hands-on science museum in, on wheels. Oh. So what we do is we do um, we we carry about 80 event or 80 exhibits we call them, and we go to schools, libraries, um, sometimes just sometimes we go to businesses, different places. Mm -hmm. We set them up, and then and then we let people play. So ah. it's very much a very much informal education. Okay. So when did y'all start this? We started in 2011. So okay. we started small. We in 2011 we had a, our first event was what we what we call Star Party, and that's something another outreach thing the physics department does. Mm -hmm. About once a semester, um, we we have a star party and we usually have a lecture about history of astronomy or t current topic in astronomy. We make use of the observing deck. We have an observing deck at Round Rock, so mm -hmm. we have a, on the top of the building, we, we have posts for like 10 s s um, telescopes and set those up. And we also set up AC Chaos and let people play. And, and then we've also done it in cooperation with the Austin Planetarium and, and they'll, they have a portable planetarium dome, so often we'll have them set that up. Okay. And we started out, we started out, we had about 25 events, or 25 exhibits. And that was our, and then our first school visit we did was the spring of that school year. Okay. So, so um, what are the goals? So the idea is that we're, our, our target, sort of our target audience is fifth graders. Okay. But we do pre-K to adult. And, uh, and our kind of goal is to leave kids with the impression of what is science, mm -hmm. that science is fun, that science is something you do, and that science is accessible. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's okay. what we're trying to do. Yeah. All right. So, um, how many faculty and staff participate? So, it varies, but um, so our, our core crew, so we've sort of tried to kind of professionalize it a little bit this year. Mm -hmm. And so we have a core crew, which is two faculty, a student and a community person. Okay. And then, um, and then, and, and, and then in any given event, we all add faculty. Um, so we'll have somewhere between two or three or four faculty um, volunteers okay. and we'll also have a staff volunteer so we have lab techs and and our computer tech person will volunteer mm -hmm. and then we'll also get occasionally community volunteers so. okay um, community volunteers who just love science yeah or? sometimes it's spouses or significant others of people who mm -hmm. volunteer a lot of times when we go to school it'll be parents who, who, who mm -hmm. of the, at the school we're visiting will help out. And, okay. and, and sometimes it's just people who love science, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. 
Um, so do you have a sense of how many schools you visit every year? I think we did 18 this year. Okay. So okay. yeah, so we, yeah, our head count. Um, so like I said, we do kind of half school visits, half what I like to call open houses. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and we always try to keep a track of head count. We had something like 11,000 people go through our exhibits this year. Wow, yeah, so. that's fabulous. Yeah. Oh my, so you, I'm sure have a hundred stories to tell, but do you have one or two that um, would help people understand how much fun this is? So my favorite stories are all about the wow moment. Okay. So when we go to school, so one thing that's a little bit different about a school visit than say like a, uh, a an open house. An open house we just set up mm -hmm. and let people go. And we, and so for instance, we'll do that at a library. So we've done like Round Rock Public Library and Pflugerville Public Library okay. and stuff like that and set up for three or four hours and just sleep, let people go. But a school visit, what's a little different is it's the kind of same model, but we do an introduction. We mm -hmm. sort of do an introduction based on about what science and and, and set the ground rules and things like that. And, and to engage them, we, we, give, we have our handout, or our, give, our giveaway, which is a pair of rainbow glasses. Okay. And, and, and we show them a 150 watt light bulb. And the usual response is, when you, and you turn it on real quick, and, uh -huh. and, and the usual response is, ah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and so we call that the wow moment. Uh -huh. and, and, and they're into it after, after that. But, right. But one, I guess one particular thing was uh, uh, one of my favorite stories is that one time we were at the school and there's one teacher uh, at a school will often like cycle through either by grade or by class mm -hmm. and and so at, um, at one particular school there was one particular teacher very stern very strong discipline right. and the children did not speak without raising their hand kind of thing and so we did the wow moment and they 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 mimed it. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't know if they could actually say yeah, wow so they, out loud. They, they might be, wow. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. very funny. Yeah. yeah. So it sounds like great fun. It is. It is. Yeah. So um, Paul has brought some activities today, and we're going to stop taping for a minute and get that set up, and then I get to pretend to be a fifth grader and help him with his activities. So um, we'll be back shortly. Okay, we are back and we are all set up. Um, I told Paul while we were setting up, I feel a little like David Letterman. Actually, what I said was, I feel a little like Johnny Carson, but that makes me too old, so I switched it to David Letterman. So, um, I get to be the fifth grader and um, Paul's gonna have some fun, I think, showing off just a little bit of what they do with AC Chaos. Uh, first thing, as you can see, is there's a ball floating in the air and it's floating on air. air. Yep. <laughs> so, I can oh, make it fall by covering the air. I can move it around by partially covering the air. Um, you could probably turn it up higher. Okay. And whoa, and there it goes. Alrighty, air can make balls float. So that's the first thing. What's next? All right, we'll, we'll want to put the glasses on. Oh, I get to have the wow moment. Yep. So here's a very bright light. Oh my gosh, that's fabulous. That is a wow moment. I do know why fifth graders would think that was pretty cool. Um, so I was asking Paul during the break, that's a 150 watt incandescent bulb. Those are going away. So what are you gonna do? Uh, our plan is to stockpile. <laughs> uh, I imagine they'll probably sell some for um, teaching purposes because oh. they're a really valuable teaching tool. Okay. But well, in the meantime, we're going to stockpile. Okay. And he says this is the original bulb. So yeah. Apparently. Six years we've been using this bulb. It's lasting a long time. <laughs> but that is a wow moment. And yeah. we will see if we can figure out how to let you see that yourselves. Okay. What okay. next? So students like make noise. So here's make a noise. chance. Okay. I'm going to guess. Whoa. It's just a plastic tube. What's in there? So there's a basically an air vibrator in there, like okay. a reed. And as it falls, it vibrates the column of air. And then, and then what sets the pitch is the length of the column of air that's vibrating. So as it falls, that changes. Right, the pitch and changes. So the pitch changes. Okay. Whoops. Okay, I could do this all day, yep. but I'll quit. Okay. All right. <laughs> These are called whirly tubes. Okay. And the idea is to swing them overhead. Oh, I'm not very good at it, but that's pretty cool. And if you try different s speeds, you can get different pitches.
Okay, I can see why fifth graders like this. Mm -hmm. and, we have I'm to put it in a place where they don't hit other people yes, in the head. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh, because <laughs> yeah, the things you have to worry about with fifth graders. There would be sword <laughs> fights, right? <laughs> yeah, and anything that's even remotely sh shaped like a stick uh -huh. is, becomes a drumstick. Okay. So yeah, you have to <laughs> you learn you learn these things. Okay. This we call a balancing bird. All right. And this is like a three. This one of the neat things is that. What you put in front of a fifth grader, what you put in front of anyone to teach science doesn't have to be expensive. Mm -hmm. Like this is like a three dollar item. Okay. And and it, and the idea is that the mass is distributed around this, so it, it, the center of gravity is peak, oh. and you can do interesting things like. Okay. I tried this earlier. The bird kept falling off my finger. So um, <laughs> practice. I'm I'm not gonna try this one. That that's really fun. I can see why this yeah. is such a big hit with. Children of all ages, including me, yeah. right? This is great fun. Well, um, thank you again. Pleasure. This has been really interesting. You need to say thanks to your physics colleagues next time you see them because they are doing good work out in the community. Um, that's it for ACC's Hands-On Science, AC Chaos, and we will see you next time. Thank you.